the product, which is the split meter product here, allows those kind of settings to really apportion power according to individual points. It eliminates the problems of people then saying somebody is using more or somebody is using less or they are bringing in friends or they are cooking stuff that's going to consume a lot of power. So the split meter allows you to exactly access the power to the level of contribution. Before we make an installation, it is actually prudent that we carry out a site plan. In some instances, the decision can be made from the office because it's assumed when we get information that um, if it's a cottage in the main house, the supply is, is separate. But we've got a situation where, you know, most high density properties, there is what we call single circuit supply, where the plug from this end and the plug from the other end, uh, they, they, they take power from the same source. So in that instance, you may need to carry out the physical side supply, the side visit rather, to be able to see what is taking on the ground. Because you can still separate a single house, uh, not necessarily a cottage and main house, but even a single house. But you need to rewire a little bit. Technically, the speed meter works in this way. Um, if you have been placed on a split supply, it means you buy your power from ZESA because you ought to remember we don't supply power. The power supply is ZESA. So you buy your power from ZESA using the allocated meter supply number for that particular property. When you do that, you then sub, uh, juice or recharge your ZESA meter in the first instance. That is the requirement. 